Rutland County shooting range and training facility being forced to take down some of their buildings on their property with their owner facing fines and possible prison time. NBC 5's John Hogs has details on how some state lawmakers want to ensure that facilities like St Slate Ridge can't operate in Vermont. The saga over Daniel Bonnier's Slate Ridge property continues. Slate Ridge was started by Bonnier in 2017 on his property in West Paulette as a weapons training facility and school. Judge Thomas Durkin of the Environmental Division of the Vermont Superior Court handing down a decision forcing Bonnier to deconstruct unpermitted buildings on his property or face jail time and fines. According to court documents, he'll have until March 25th to remove a school building, a facade used for training, shipping containers, and all stair and ladder platforms, all of which are unpermitted. By the beginning of May, he must remove the berms lining the shooting range, and lastly, within 135 days of the court's decision, he must deconstruct and remove the rest of the unpermitted buildings. Until it's completed, he could rack up fines of $200 a day. If he complies, the fines will be avoided. If not, he could go to prison along with being fined. The state looked at it, public safety looked at it, the governor looked at it, and there was literally nothing in our state laws that would allow us to shut it down. I thought that was a failure of governance. Right now, there's no law preventing facilities like Slate Ridge in Vermont. The state legislature taking up the issue. The testimony that we got this morning was surprising and it indicated that we may have a bigger problem than we knew. So the witness we had this morning talked about several such camps, not just Slate Ridge. The bill is very specific and won't include shooting ranges, hunting safety courses approved by Fish and Wildlife, or trainings done by municipalities, state, and federal agencies. It's targeting just fringe actors who are looking to create civil disorder. And that doesn't describe people who target shoot, who hunt, who have guns for self-defense, any of that. Lawmakers are looking at other states' laws to compare the bill to, saying there is no place in Vermont for these types of facilities. In Montpelier, John Hawks, NBC5 News.